and just this area right in here is under the uh, tornado warning and this will be until 1.30 so we got about another uh, uh, 21 minutes to go on this. You know Mark Twain has been quoted as saying that while everyone talks about the weather no one does anything about it. So today we're doing something about it. We're unboxing a weather radio. But first this begs the question why bother getting a weather radio? Although we love Airstreams and RVs in general, they were really never intended to be storm shelters. In fact, they're probably one of the worst places you can be during severe weather. Once you experience your first big thunderstorm inside an Airstream, you'll realize that you're huddling for shelter inside a giant tin can. Here's how the average RV will fare when confronted with severe weather. As this demonstration vividly illustrates, when severe weather approaches, it's best to evacuate your RV altogether and move to a safe location. So a weather radio is basically an emergency radio. These things are designed to automatically come on any time of day when dangerous conditions exist and they will broadcast warnings from the National Weather Service. These radios will also automatically broadcast warning information for all sorts of emergency situations like earthquakes, avalanches, BP oil spills, and Chicago Bulls victory riots. Jokes aside, we've experienced a couple of fairly terrifying storms while camping in our Airstream, so that's what motivated me to pick up one of these things. Without further ado, let's go unbox it. So here's our chosen weather radio, the Midland WR300. We got ours from Amazon for about 50 bucks. Free shipping, no tax. The box touts something called SAME, or Specific Alert Message Encoding. This technology allows you to specify a particular area of the country for which you want to receive alerts. You simply go to the National Weather Service website grab the specific code for your county and plug it into your radio. Then you'll only receive alerts for your immediate area. Now one of the features of this Midland radio is you can actually disable certain alerts if you so choose. If you're camping, I wouldn't recommend disabling any alert. But if you're in a brick and mortar home, you may, for example, want to forego the severe thunderstorm warning alert. Your call. So here's the radio. It's a lightweight piece of plastic for better or worse. And packed along with it is the power cable and the owner's manual. And in this case, you really should RTFM. Read the frickin' manual. As we take a closer look, we'll see another reason we chose this model, and that's that it has AM, FM radio on board. Some of these things are pure weather radios, but I wanted that AM, FM functionality. The back of the radio is interesting for a couple of reasons. First, as you can see on the right, there's a spot for an external antenna. Second, in dead center, you can see a slot for external alert. This refers to a strobe light you can attach to the radio. So if you want, your warnings can be accompanied by a flashing light. At the bottom of the radio is a battery compartment. Four AA batteries will provide backup battery power. And really, the ability to use batteries is the whole point of the radio because when severe weather strikes, you may not have the luxury of electricity, especially if you're out on the road camping. So as you can see, we've got a nice funky blue backlit display. And if we want, we can just use this radio to listen to AM FM as we please. And that's why we're here. Marketplace money, it's life with dollar signs. And finally note, you can use this one as a good old fashioned clock radio. So that's our weather radio, the Midland WR300. Stay tuned and we'll let you know how it works out. 